Man, yes, please send me that link. Yeah, let me, uh, I'll let me see. That is tight. Yeah! <laughs> I remember, uh, wrestling is really uh, amazing right now for anybody that <laughs> listens to this and likes wrestling. Um, they have no audience right now, so it seems it, it's like uh, watching them do some sort of play. You know, uh, so like it, it's you hear them doing the lines and it, it's all this silence. Uh, I know if we've, some people have played this before, but if you haven't heard this before, I'm going to play something for you right now. This is uh, Stone, when Stone Cold Steve Austin coming out to his theme song. Uh, you know, there's absolutely no uh, audience there at all. I'm going to send this link to the chat right now. Uh, and it's like... <laughs> and he's coming out there. It's really surreal to watch it, you know. Oh, yeah, I sent you that uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Like. Word. Because it's like, you know, uh, I kind of haven't been watching wrestling for a while. And I was just trying to check it out because I heard that they were still going through with it. And I was like, oh, that's kinda, it's kind of badass. You know, they're just like, uh, you know, the show must go on. Here we go. No, no audience. Well, you are. I want to declare that from here on out. It's kind of like when they do the backstage stuff. March yeah. It's a national holiday. All right. If you want to know. What 316 day is all about? Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> I said, point the camera into the empty audience. Into it. <laughs> Nobody about, out there. They're acknowledging it yeah. full on. Hell yeah. <laughs> One dude. What? Oh, he didn't like that. What? I said, hell yeah. Thank you for the enthusiasm, Byron. I appreciate that very much. 316 day is when <laughs> someone so gives you a load of crap. So weird. You give it back to them by simply giving them a certain hand gesture with one finger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Oh, Byron, have we decided to join in? Are you rating me? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. This Thank is weird. Anyway, this is super, super, duper, duper, duper weird. Uh, it's like uh, some crazy Shakespearean thing. Let's check this out. Uh, I'm going to put another one on. Oh, shit. Yeah. You know who that is. Oh, I know who this out. is. This beat is so tight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the oh, 16-time that... world champion, John Cena. Cheers. It's my birthday, y'all. Me and James about to take a little shot. Around, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Right. Gabe, get some headphones. Get some headphones right now. Alright, fast forward a little bit. The first one is, is me, fast forward girlfriends so the two, so the me, two can be gruesome. Here we go. And it is going to be uncomfortable. He right. said on a number of occasions that this caused the downward spiral in his life and really gave, uh, gave birth to the fiend. The reason I took Bray Wyatt's challenge at WrestleMania the silence. is so I can take Bray Wyatt out of the equation. Michael Cole, this ain't going to be a WrestleMania match to steal the show. It's going to be physical. It is going to be gruesome. And it is going to be uncomfortable to watch. Yeah. But this WrestleMania Absolutely. match yeah, is going very to accomplish what should have happened six years ago. Six years ago. <laughs> Ending the existence of the most overhyped, overvalued, overprivileged What up, Danny? WWE I see you in the chat. What up? Existence. Oh, Oh, some guy's got his own mic coming from the back. Uh, now it's like a play. Holy like cow, That's like um, a uh, Phantom of the stuff, Opera. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's, this guy's coming from out of the audience. So there's so no know, one there except him. I'm really glad you're here. Even though you're saying some let's really get, mean and hateful the drama. stuff about me. Yeah. It's good to see you again, John. <laughs> this guy's what? fake. Who is this guy? Some Look at you. Wrestler. Look at you! You're doing great, man. You're the big Hollywood star. You know what? That's now. a that's a WWE that ain't got their pop got filter shit right on the microphones. On tap. Oh, yeah, their explosives are fucking Most going crazy. Going crazy in what there. it must be like to be John Cena for peas, just peas, one popping them peas, popping them peas. But you do have me all wrong, John. I'm just saying, WWE, look what I could do for you. I'm not sick. 
You are. Well, he's just, this is like a monologue he's just going I know. into. Is he why talking you about here, COVID? John? I don't know what he's talking about. And I know why you can't say no. You down with the sickness? <laughs> you, you don't really think we think that you care about the future, do we? <laughs> I mean, John Cena cares about uh, John Cena. All right, C- thank you. All right, y'all. If you really just, I would say, really sit down on YouTube and chill for a second, and you can watch <laughs> some giants doing community theater, <laughs> like doing some weird play, <laughs> nobody there. Yeah, it's amazing. It's awful. It's it's ter- <laughs> it, it, it's I, definitely this terrible. Whole thing I like. I see this and how they're like struggling through this. I see the late night shows and all that stuff, and then I go watch a YouTube channel like Superhuman. Yeah. And it's like a dude jumping onto garbage in his backyard. And it's <laughs> way more entertaining than anything that any professional is doing right now. On well, those own. dudes all became pro- professionals. Those back back uh, yard wrestler dudes. <laughs> yeah, they they all kind of got into the game. Pro- I, like, I kind of want to know what Superhuman is doing during COVID. You should look into it, man. They're probably in the backyard hurting themselves. <laughs> if he can still, if he can still walk, oh, pff, yeah, doing, of course he can walk. Doing that crazy stuff. Man, speaking of that, uh, being inside all the time, me and you were talking about uh, food. Like, we always talk about food on this show. That's right. Um, so, we're, James, is, if y'all don't know, has lost mad weight. I've lost a bunch of weight, too, but James hasn't lost. How much weight have you lost in the last, like, six months, you would say? Uh, like, 30, or actually, like, shit, almost 40 pounds Wow, now. man, congratulations, dude. Yeah. I've done about the same, probably a little bit. Uh, I've been going a little longer than that, but about at the same clip. And I'm starting, to, we're both starting to get addicted to the results. You're yeah. talking about yeah. how some, some of the eating habits, like, I don't think we're ever going to go back, man. I've, just like, I've, uh, I've totally adapted yeah. to just eating on this diet. Yeah. You just know, not, not like crazy on, you know what I mean? But yeah. When I went and got emergency food, it kind of threw a bunch of stuff into the fridge that I don't normally have in the house because I didn't know when we were going to be able to get back to the grocery store. So I was putting some. So there's like some more, a lot more bread stuff that I would norm, normally not have, and a lot more, you know, uh, just carbs in general. But now, since I see, we kind of see how it's unfolding. It's going like, oh, you know, fresh vegetables as much as possible, as long as they're still available, yeah. and then some other stuff. But um, we were just talking about how we're just trying to get all the way down once in our lives. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like all I, the way sexy. Yeah, I had a, I had a goal, and I was like, I, I'm realizing the first goal I set, I'm going to get to way quicker than I thought I was. Uh-huh. So now I'm like, well, let's just set another goal. And then, so I think it's just my goal now is just get to, like, the weight I was in high school and try to get lower than that. Oh, man. If I can do that. Because I wish I'm, I remembered actually, that I'm way. getting closer to that than I thought I would get already. So right. So, fuck it. I'm, I'm trying to go as much as I can. Before I have to start exercising, because I'm doing this all with diet. Oh yeah, and dude. I, I most of it is I don't eat anything. As long as you're hungry most of the time, you're losing weight. Hmm. Yeah. I, I mean that's C- a bit, caloric deficit. Yeah, you could, but I mean that doesn't mean that you're like healthy. You still the things that you eat have to be good for you, but, right? And have to give you everything, all the nutrients you need. But uh, yeah, like I have a cup of coffee. I have butter coffee mm-hmm. with either. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of uh, coconut oil in it too, nice. and then whip it up. You know, with like a electric mixer. Wow. Yeah, that's what gets the butter into it evenly. Yeah. And then Emulsify. since I'm like basically not eating any carbs almost, you're being very, very low carbs. It's fine for me to eat that much fat. Right. And I'll eat, I'll drink that and I'll have a like a protein bar. Wow. And that'll be all, eat, like that's all I've eaten today. Man. And, until now. And then it's like seven o'clock now. Then I'll make dinner, which probably tonight I'll have Brussels not Brussels sprouts, uh, asparagus, asparagus and, I have some and in the fridge. asparagus <laughs> and uh, pork loin. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, so mainly the, I'm eating greens. I have to eat green vegetables mm-hmm. and meat. Nuts are fine. Yeah, certain nuts are better than other ones. <laughs> it's keto, <laughs> you know. But yeah, you don't have to eat bacon all the time. Like that's no, not no, the right no, way to do that fat. shit. That's saturated fat. Yeah, but um, I think you touched on something that I think is has been the saving grace and what has made me have a complete lifestyle change is to get obsessed with the things I do like that are good, you know, yes. like really, really getting into loving whatever it is I'm cooking and I'm having, you know, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's not normally what I want, you know, it's like, Hey, 
you shouldn't I should never eat macaroni and cheese like four times a week. And I look back yeah. on like old habits and it seems impossible. You know, I, you know eating I was like, Oh, eat mac and cheese four times a week. Yeah. I, I had like in a week I had like two meatball subs and a Philly cheesesteak all within in a week. Yeah. And it was all probably at two in the morning. <laughs> you well, know what it's I mean? It's also about habits and what you do yeah. with when you're in those situations because being here now, I've actually conti- I've lost more weight since this whole everybody staying in started <laughs> because first of all, I'm not going out and drinking and then subsequently oh, yeah. eating right. something or maybe not or my drinking like is going to, I start drinking more bourbon mm-hmm. and stuff and things that are like way sugary. Right. Uh so I'm not doing that. I'm not going out to eat at all. Right. And when I do go out to eat, oh, we got to talk about Taco Bell in a minute. A oh, bit. yeah. I got that written down. But anyway. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's better. And it's, so instead of like, and also instead of going to the store and getting, you know, I get what I need to eat, but I haven't like been like, oh, I need survival food or whatever. No, like, no, no. I do survival food in my fucking diet. You know what I do? Right. I buy a bunch of peanut butter. Mm-hmm. I buy a bunch of protein bars. Mm-hmm. I get almond milk. Mm-hmm. It doesn't go bad, you know, yeah. like shit like that. And yeah, I get meat, but also I don't have to eat meat and that shit all the, like meat. Of course not. Freeze. No, 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 no. And it's just so I just get vegetables and that's the luxury. You, you know, know what? The shit, it's like the stuff that, that I don't really want to have in my diet is what I got is the survival stuff because I'm never going to touch it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I put some, trying to put some food in the cabinets. This is get, getting into our, our uh, trash tech info wars, trash tech info section. Yeah. It's like doomsday prepper style mm-hmm. food that doesn't go bad, period. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I don't really want, Well, this but is, it's in the house, you know. And, you ever fuck with yeah. MREs before? Yeah, I don't really care for that that kind of stuff. Do you Survival food because it's like ultra high calorie. It is. It's kind of like getting protein bars, though. It's kind of like buying protein bars. Yeah, but, but the difference is, stuff. well, it's... The thing is, the MREs are super high calorie, high carb, high everything. Everything because you may not get to eat again for a long right, time. Right? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about nutrition bars yeah. that are like have like low carb. High R- no, 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 no. No, that's no, no. what I'm talking. About. I'm talking yeah. about diet bars. I know what you're talking about. But, yeah, yeah. But that stuff. I'm not trying to go there. I feel like we're not going to end up there. But just putting some. I never. You know, this is the first time you ever have to actually think about. Oh, what if we can't go to the store? That never even crossed anybody's mind for in a real way. You yeah. know, it's like, oh, what if you can't go to the store? Is there anything that, like, can I live in this place? I mean, I already started for garden weeks, stuff this year. You know? Um, so, anyway, uh, all that stuff's so bad for you. So, I just put it in the back of, of the ca- the cabinet to not yeah. be seen later the day. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there's stuff in case something really bad happens. Of course. But it's just like, man, fuck it. If I'm already kind of starving, let's just, let's just go hunt. Well, I mean, let's lose some weight while we're at it. Son, man, you already know how it's going to go down if we, like, you know, far a social distance fist bump. Yeah. If it yeah. went down, like, social, man, I know how to butcher, man. I know we, how to butcher. You got to butcher, stuff. too. Yeah. You know, I know you how to you cut know, up if animals. it went down to it, you know where I'm going? Where? Bird Park. Geese. Hey, man. I'm Bro. Gonna, I'm going to tell you a story. Geese. I'm going to tell you a story right now because it happened so <laughs> long happening. ago. It happened so long ago. I think it's Apocalypse. Like, y'all know, better watch out, Geese. I think it's past <laughs> statute. Uh, limitations uh-huh. uh so back i think this is like it's pre-2010 i think this is like 2006 2005 i had this uh this buddy that worked at a sushi restaurant and uh him and uh one of the other cooks there were going through bird park uh-huh. on the way to work yeah and uh the other cook was driving and my friend was in the passenger seat and they were going through Bird Park, and one of those really big, like, flocks of geese, like, takes off, like, right in front of them, like, while they're driving, like, kind of, like, out of nowhere. Uh-huh. And they clip one on the side of the car and kill it. And uh, the guy driving freaks out because if you kill one, it's, like, a super huge oh, yeah. fucking It's, like, fine. a crime. <laughs> so it was, it was, I think it was, like, really early in the morning, you know, on the way to go into prep. So nobody saw it. So the guy, like, gets out of the car, throws it in his trunk, and dips. <laughs> okay, so I would go to the restaurant 
to just say what's up and hang out because they like had sometimes they had like DJs there and music and I would like set up sound equipment for them mm-hmm. and like you know hang out and drink and shit. So I went in there for just to get some lunch. 